it's actually raining and my plan to hunt Kentucky today is, is pretty, you know, stay mobile essentially. I think I may bring minimal stand equipment, hunt maybe the first hour or two from the stand and then uh, I'm definitely going to be still hunting. We got rainy good conditions, you know, these bucks maybe have their guard down with, with the doe and, and my, my hope is to, to also scout as much as I can in preparation for tomorrow with the weather conditions are sunny you know it's it's basically setting up for tomorrow's hunt because tomorrow's weather is actually going to be the coldest day in like the, the last 10 we've had so i'm uh, pretty excited about that uh, and want to be in good position and obviously with this piece i'm not super familiar with it so more scouting is never a bad thing scouting my way up the ridge and actually saw a chasing scene between a buck and a doe. Found really good buck sign along this ridge system. So at this point, I find myself in a hog bag, and I spot two does that kind of scurried before I could get footage. And then this guy shows up, this oh, spiker four point, and he mills around at 20 yards with a death wish, ends up coming through the uh, system just like I'd like a bigger buck to do. So I elect to kind of post up for a good bit after this encounter. very close today to getting it done so I, I did a little more scouting after that buck encounter and i found like a terrain feature and i kicked some does off it i and i wasn't 100 percent sure if it was the buck and the doe that i had just seen so my plan is actually to go back into this terrain feature tomorrow one i know there's a hot doe in the area two gonna pinch some deer down there's a couple hammer rubs in there so that's always encouraging and then uh there's does there now potentially so you know, hopefully I can get a buck to, to come in. I had a four point pop out right in this terrain feature. Just needed a bigger one to do it, essentially. The, the weather for tomorrow is phenomenal. So I'm going to wake up stupid early. I'm going to get in there and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it heck. I'm going to, you know, got the tree marked. Uh, should be a good hunt. <laughs> At this point I just heard running and could see a buck running a hillside, small guy, really not sure what he's doing, and he cruised the lower military crest for some odd reason instead of coming through the pinch. Um, I don't know, it just wasn't hot today. I, uh, I had the one spiker come through, but uh, no other deer, and uh, obviously yesterday you had a hot doe, you had two does here. You had a six point just doing laps and two other bucks. It just, I don't know. Maybe that doe took every everything out of here. But, uh, you know, this is one of those spots that I think if you sat it three or four days, you'd catch a good one coming through here. There's just too many good rubs. And this uh, this terrain feature seems to pinch them down. Habitat is it's really good. You got some thicker little points. Um, that got to be holding does, but uh, I think for today I am done. The only way I can get back here before 
gun season as if I maybe hunt tomorrow. I'm not sure where I'd go. Um, so we'll see. But we plan to come back for sure for that late muzzle litter season. So this TBD on this being the end of the Kentucky series. Dave and I obviously together have started hunting this piece uh, throughout the season and we've seen enough buck sign, a couple encounters. I saw a buck from the road that was on the private but it very well could have ended up on public that was decent. And we've obviously pieced together some stuff that we like seeing in a piece of public land uh, that we would hunt say if it was even in our backyard here in Ohio. So the plan, I guess, right now is to probably focus on Ohio efforts as Kentucky's gun season is kicking in right in, literally tomorrow. And, you know, at this point, we'll head back down there probably for their, their late season and late muzzleloader season as well. That's a, a time period there's a little less people in the woods. I like that time of year. Right now, Dave and Andy are pretty much focused on Ohio. I think I'm gonna to head to maybe Illinois and get a bow hunt or two in before the end of the month. And, and so we continue to kind of break down and we found some quadrants that seem to be a little better with what we look for in a public piece. And a lot of that comes down to accessibility, habitat, and obviously what we've visually seen. So we've, we were now, we have a blueprint started. And, and the goal with this series and really our, our future hunting plans is to continue to hunt it, to map stuff out. So we have a blueprint of, of good areas to check out. And the thought is in future years, this can be our, our home away from home potentially if, if we think it's a good enough piece that if we'd ever tag out in Ohio and be looking to pick up a second tag and go out of state, this is going to be our secondary home turf, um, potentially. Uh, it's kind of TBD, but it's it's looking that way. So we're going to continue to do that and continue to work on this series with with Onyx and, and bring you guys some late season hunts and then maybe even a, a winter scout. And, and that can be a lot more detailed as far as more of a, a map focus uh, session there. These last couple have kind of been more documenting the hunt, documenting the process, seeing what we're seeing. Um, as well as like a map breakdown we did in the last video. So appreciate you guys tuning in. Let us know if you like these. Um, hit that subscribe button by all means. Team Harder and Bucks, we're out.